Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, we've done this a long time ago, but let's revisit it and sort of tweak it and make it a little bit better. Essentially today, we're going to take a look at a simple audio editing technique in which you can actually take a sound and stretch it out over a longer period of time. We'll be using a program called Audacity to do this. And the method is surprisingly simple. Check it out. First, you will of course need to acquire your piece of audio. So what I'm doing here is I'm just sort of recording some sounds with my microphone. Hello. Now, let's say there is a piece of sound I want to extend for a longer time. So of course, I will need to, you know, sort of find it in my audio track. Now, in the waveform view, go ahead and zoom in as far as you can. Not so far we can see the individual samples, but you know, where the whole line is sort of spaced quite widely apart. What you want to look for is a repeating pattern. Basically, sounds are just a bunch of repeated vibrations, so you want to look for that repetition. And essentially, what you're going to do is you're just going to, well, add to the number of repetitions. If you're able to create more of them, the sound becomes longer. That's the concept. What you're going to need to do now is to make a selection of one such repetition. As you can see, my selection starts and ends at a fairly recognizable point, so you should strive to do something similar. Once you have a selection, you want to test out how it sounds. Press shift space and your selection will loop indefinitely, allowing you to preview the effect. Here's what I got. A good selection will greatly increase the quality of the effect, so take your time here. Be sure to get exactly one cycle. If your selection is off, the nature of the sound changes. In particular, if you hear a weird unnatural buzzing like this, that means you haven't selected one whole cycle. You may want to zoom in to make a better selection. If you need to refine your selection, you can grab both ends of it and basically drag them around. Keep doing this and previewing until you get a sound you like. Once you have that, you now want to actually bake this into your file. So what you want to do is to go to Effects and go to Repeat. The number you put in here will define how many times this actually repeats and you'll see a calculation of the final length down here. Now, usually we need a fairly large number because this is a very short segment of audio, so you may want to put a number like say 100, which as you can see only gives me about one second of audio. Let's go with that. Once we say OK, basically this gets repeated many many times. Now, if we play back our entire sound, it will sound something like this. Hello. What we've seen today is just a technique, right? You can apply this in basically any way, you can change it up, and well, the effect will be different. For example, here's a version with that effect applied five times to different parts of the sound. Hello. That's basically all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you gained some insight today. But until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.